Hello fam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you this report. Recently, a lot of statues have been taken down by protesters. People were angry that those statues are there, but what they represent is white supremacy and what those people have done. They've done so many messed up things, but we act like we don't see it and we still celebrate them and have their statues all over the countries. and. That's why people were just taking it down and be hating it and throwing it. Even in the UK, the same thing happened. So the latest statue to be vandalized is in France. An activist has vandalized the statue of a French statesman outside the country's parliament. Jane Baptist Colbert helped write the Black Code in the 17th century, which defined slavery and race in France's colonial empire. The Black Code was a decree originally passed by France King Louis in 1685. The Code Noir defined the condition of slavery in the French colonial empire restricted the activities of free Negroes, made Roman Catholicism religion compulsory and ordered all Jews out of France colonies. Footage posted on social media shows the activist spraying Colbert's statue with red paint on Tuesday. He sprayed the words state Negrophobia at the base of the monument before police detained him. Watch the video and come back. activist was caught spraying the statue so the police stopped him but the reason why the activist was doing that is because this man was accountable for that code that was passed against black people that would restrict their activities that would restrict their movement hence why the activist decided to put red paint and write state negrophobia on that statue as we all know after the death of george floyd protests have been happening not only in the us but uk australia france even in Ghana. So people were saying enough is enough, Black Lives Matter, this should stop. So this prompted people to take down those statues that are there glorifying those people even though what they did is horrible towards black people. So that's one of the reasons the activists did that. But with that being said, protests in France have been going on since 2016 after the death of Adama Traore, a 24-year-old killed in police custody in 2016. Demonstrators have likened his death to that of George Floyd. This is not the first French statue to be vandalized in recent weeks. In the northern city, protesters wrote the words murderer and colonialist on the statue of Louis Fidherbe, a 19th century governor of Senegal when it was a French colonial. Colony. People are angry and demanding for their rights. You better give it to them peacefully. Otherwise, I don't think these people will like it. They're so used to being in power. They're so used to being the colonizers. They are so used to being the manipulators. They forgot that they can come down and they will be brought down. I just hope that they choose the peaceful way out because even after this protester in France wrote what he wrote on that statue, they came out and opposed it and said, he made a lot of good. So why are you just focusing on this? But Okay, you want to focus on the good part, but you can't tell people to forget the bad part. If you're going to teach the good one, you better not forget what he did to the black community as well. And it doesn't stop there. Just the other day, we were talking about King Leopold II and how much of an evil person he was. But if you go to Belgium, they will never accept that for you. It's not written in their history books. Nobody has thought that. They think he's this wonderful, glorious, awesome kid that existed and this is not fair if you want to talk about history tell the whole truth then tell that he killed about 15 million african people and stop just painting this great king no he was far from it he was not the great king that you want to teach your children if you want to teach your children good but you cannot force us to forget the history just because you want to hide it and not show how much of an animal your king was so if you want to preach about the history and all the good things they did or Christopher Columbus, he founded America. No, he did not find America. There were natives living already. To discover is to find something new. Christopher Columbus maybe found something new to him, new to him, 
but that land already existed and people used to live on that land so it was already occupied you can't say you found something new when it already existed it might be new to you but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is new what they wanted was the land the wealth the expansion of their territory so they said that he discovered america and the rest is history then how do you expect black people or the Native Americans to accept what this guy did. Can you at least try to be in their shoes and understand? So you can't pick and choose the history you want to talk about. If you are going to talk about a history, talk about it from A to Z. Anyways, guys, what do you think? History should be given in all its context or you pick and choose what you feed people and which one is the right one. So do let us know down below in the comment section. I will see you on the next one. Bye.